Okay guys, so it is another video, um, I know it's been a while, and I had probably a couple hours of videos that I've done on the car, um, I'm not even sure what all, plenty of stuff, um, painting, hood, bumper, uh, paint matching, the, this is the cold air, cold air intake, um, also paint matching the throttle body, and the valve cover, doing exhaust system, bunch of stuff I done to the car and files got corrupted and stuff. I ended up having to delete stuff because it just wasn't working. And so now I decided to do some video just going over a couple of things I've done. And as you see, just gave it a wash because it's snowed here recently and roads were extremely dirty or muddy, some muddy and dirty. And so the car was real kind of a mess. So yeah. Um, so, yeah, first of all, um, got, not sure what the, don't remember exactly what the last video is, but I've got the hood is all, hood's all done, hood and bumper. Um, I'll lift the car up in a bit to do, show the exhaust system. So, anyway, so here is the colder intake. It's uh, about a $70 colder intake from, e off eBay, full colder intake. It goes all the way down. Don't know if we'll be able to see it, but up into the bumper. Don't know if I'll go see it up in there is a, I think you can barely see the end of the filter there. Anyways, um, so yeah, that's about 70 bucks. I paint matched it. It's the H624, it's a GM color um, on this Chevy Cobalt. Same paint match, the, the valve cover and throttle body, same thing. And I believe might be all up here. Um, a little bit of a sneak peek of the exhaust down there. It's basically, it's a stock, stock header. So this is actually a 2005 engine. It's a 2006 Chevy Cobalt, but it's a 2005 engine because it had to be replaced. And so the 2005 engine, the, I believe it's the, what is it? Thermostat housing. It's like on the back of the engine. It's slightly different. I'm not sure if you can see it. I think it's under the header. So I don't know if you can really see it, but it's a different shape. And so when I, this is ZZ performance, uh, three inch, uh, exhaust, exhaust system. So it's basically a header back exhaust system. And so basically what had happened is I ordered it with a header. In fact, I actually might, might actually have it here. Um, see if I can show it to you guys. So this is the exhaust system or the, the header I'd gotten. It's one and a half inch uh, primaries. And so actually what happened is being the, the thermos housing being where it is, I had to bang this in and it still didn't fit. In fact, you can see right here, it was leaking exhaust really bad. So when I first put the exhaust system on, I was like, it's a three inch exhaust system, like the biggest one they have, they have two and a half and three inch. This is just basically a stock setup. So what they'd recommend was one half inch uh, primaries on this and then a two and a half inch exhaust system. Well, while I went in a three inch, I was like, oh, it's losing tons of power. And then I took it all back off, put the stock exhaust back on. And then uh, a while back, I'd cut the exhaust, end up having to cut the exhaust system off for some custom headers I was trying to fit. <clears throat> and then I was needing exhaust to put back on. So I was like, hey, I'll just pop this one back on with the stock manifold. And so basically I was just popped it on there and it ended up making a lot more power. So 
basically what I did, it's basically, yeah, just a three inch back. It's a three inch high flow cat and then a three inch cat back exhaust with the muffler and resonator options. You can get those without muffler and resonator and mix and match, whatever you want. And anyways, it's working really, really it's working really good. Um, makes a good bit of power. It's actually fast if ever done with the car. It's like a 060 8.1 and a uh, quarter mile 15.3 and uh, of course spinning and the transmission is starting to go out so got some problems there so it could definitely be even better um but yeah i mean it's pretty good right where it's at i've got these i think maybe i've showed those before cover uh max speeding rods cover uh shocks in the front and i actually need to adjust the camber not sure which way it is, but the tire, tires are starting to wear a lot on the outside edge and then not so much on the inside. So I need to fix that. Also need some new tires because these ones really sucked in the snow. So um, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll lift the car up and then show the exhaust from underneath. And it's absolutely massive. I mean, the just the catalytic converter or the downpipe, I actually had to have help lifting it up. This thing is so heavy. So yeah, I guess I'll get left up and then show it from underneath. Okay guys, so I got the car all lifted up and I already showed the top part there. So go down here, they don't get water dripping on me. But anyways, okay, so from down here, you can see there's down pipe. So two cents right there. And remember this is three inch exhaust. So flange there's got the ZZ Performance resignator and that thing is huge so yeah that is an option and what i really do like it's kind of nice is all the different in a way it's kind of nice in a way it almost kind of sucks but there's lots of these where there's connections so it, you can really adjust it to get it where you want so yeah comes all the way around here another little connection there and then i guess i'll have to go around the back there's if I can right there so I've got there would be another connection there with the muffler but I've just got open right now so it's pretty loud and it would come out here the muffler is see, the muffler is right here so it's about that long right there there's that connection So yeah, there's ZZ Performance. It's the muffler right there. And one thing I'm not just a real big fan of, it sticks out a lot, sticks out a good ways from the bumper. But other than that, it's, I mean, it's fairly heavy, but it works great. Um, I just took it off to see what I do in that. The numbers I'd said earlier about the 8.1 8 .1 seconds, 0, 060, and 15.3 seconds quarter mile was without this. With this, it was had lost a bit of power and that's why ZZ Performance recommends the 2.5 uh, ex uh, exhaust system for more of an for the NA setup because one thing I've seen online it said because I decided to research it and it said it's about you for uh, something with 100 horsepower let's say you'd need a one inch exhaust all the way back so this is stock 145 maybe about 170 or 75 now which technically need me need maybe up to a two inch exhaust maybe like 1.1.75 one three quarter inch exhaust which is the stock stock exhaust size and so with this one low rpms it doesn't do very good at all can't take out that fast um even though it does pretty good when it gets to higher rpms about 5,000 rpms 
it starts getting quieter. And being this thing's tuned, it goes through revs all the way to 7,100, 7, something like that. And then it, it from about five to 7,000, actually gets quieter. And then a real, that's where the most of the torque is really starts pulling. And so actually for something roll racing or something like that, it'd be a lot better because you stamp on the gas and it instantly it shifts down and has tons of torque. You can just feel it. And so it's being such a big exhaust pipe, just down low, it just doesn't have much until there's lots of exhaust flow and starts getting back pressure. Because you actually need back pressure a little bit. It's good. So that's why it works great. But yeah, um, might, might do a quick uh, start it just so you guys know what it sounds like. Hope there's not, can't tell, won't know until later, I guess, but a little bit of wind here. Hopefully there's not too much wind noise, but I guess I'll just start it, show you guys what it sounds like. Maybe we'll go out, do a 0 60 quarter mile, and then probably end the video there. As you guys can see there, I don't know if I really picked it, picked it all up. Probably is insanely loud. I don't know if the mic will pick it up, but yeah, um, it is insanely loud. That was like probably two foot from the exhaust pipe. But yeah, I'm gonna get off tracks. Uh, go probably go just see. It's fairly warm out there. Probably seventy. These probably seventy degrees. So it's not sure how it will do. It's probably about thirty degrees the other day when I got that got like my fastest that ever done so let's go out and see what i'll do now and then end the video okay guys so i was just gonna try the 0 60 on that but the app i use isn't really wanting to work right now so um i guess yeah i'm not sure exactly what it would do the vehicle's like 180 degrees so really couldn't coolant temperature is like 180 it's about 73 degrees outside so it'd probably be mid 10 or something 0 60 mid no, yeah, about zero six would be a probably mid ten something, but and then quarter mile it would probably be like a seventeen or something. So yeah, I guess I'll just have to end off the video here because it's it's not wanting to work. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, probably coming out with some more stuff soon. Um, might actually be doing another video this afternoon. It might be not the headlights I have on here now, but the other headlights paint matching them white to the car just to see what it looks like and just seeing if it, if it does look good I might end up doing it to both headlights and maybe putting them back on they weren't working that great so I'm not sure if I'll put them back on or not even if they do look good 